Sure, you've made it big and have all the trappings of success, a full floor apartment midtown, a Bentley, a yacht and maybe even a private jet. But, for a small subset of the wealthy, these pale compared with the romance of owning their very own, sumptuously appointed passenger railroad car. And we're not talking here about train cars that sit in some pole barn, but cars that travel the country, allowing their riders to enjoy the fruited plains, the majesty of the purple mountains. Cars that can become a home base in a major city like New Orleans for exploring the delights of the Big Easy. There are 50 or 60 cars equipped to ride on Amtrak's trains in the U.S., according to Patrick Henry, a spokesperson for the American Association of Private Railroad Car Owners, OPICO. Henry is himself a proud owner of a Union Pacific Dome lounge car and a seven-bedroom sleeper car. This is not, be warned, a pastime for those with limited budgets. According to the Opera Co., you can expect to pay $25, oh, 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 or more for a sleeper, $85, oh, 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 for a dome car. The refurbishing of such cars can run another $150, oh, 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 to $500, oh, 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 and way, way more if you choose to upgrade it beyond its original state. Venture is the cost to store and operate your personal train car, called a private varnish, from the finish that was traditionally used on the early cars that were built of wood. Storage can run $500 a month. If you want to hook your car up to an Amtrak train, about your only option, expect to pay $2.10 10 a mile for the first car and $1.75 for subsequent cars, with a $1.000 minimum, along with an annual activation fee of $250. Why would someone sink so much money into a train car? Most of the owners have had a lifelong fascination with railroading, and find exploring the country by rail exhilarating. According to Henry, there's not a greater feeling in the world than being on that train and waking up in the morning and you're looking out your window and it's either snowing and you're in the Rockies or you're along the coast of California. It's just a wonderful feeling and all your troubles go away v. Then how about chartering one? The New York Central 3, a business car, was owned by the Vanderbilts and was featured on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous.